Hi, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Val Newcomb, and I'm with Lumen, and I head up marketing and communications for the firm. We're really delighted to have you here with us today to do our webinar. I'll start by introducing our team. We have three esteemed speakers here this afternoon. Uh, first, Kevin O'Shea. He is our co-founder and chief commercial officer. Kevin has many years in leadership and is steering our, uh, steering our firm towards success. His background is primarily in software and utility scale solar. And Kevin has a lot of startup experience, which is great to have around uh, this crew. Also in from California is Brian Sullivan, who's our head of data engineering. Brian is a self-professed data and algorithms nerd, hailing most recently from Netflix, who has a reputation for having super personalized uh, you know, data interface and a brand and experience that most of us are familiar with. So we're um, really happy to have Brian on board. And he's, um, he's doing a lot of cool things with our smart algorithms. And he'll share, share more about that with you as we get going here. Last but not least, John Prophet. He's our Director of Applications Engineering, and John has an interesting background in energy efficiency and residential solar, and he is our biz dev, tech expert, guru. I refer to John as our Lumen MVP because he really bridges the gap between what's happening in product development and engineering and how all of that can apply to our customers and their businesses and uh, specific customer applications of our product. We expect the whole webinar to wrap up within a tight 45 minutes. We'll do slides for about 20 to 25, and we'd love you to uh, ping us with questions throughout, and we will get back to the questions toward the end and hopefully have a dialogue regarding what's interesting to you that we've covered today. And if I didn't mention, we're sitting in Charlottesville, Virginia, home of the recently minted NCAA Men's Championship basketball team. With that, I will turn it over to Kevin O'Shea. Awesome. Thanks, Val. Yeah, this is Kevin O'Shea, Chief Commercial Officer here with Lumen. Thanks to everybody for joining. Um, and as a University of Virginia graduate, I just got a crow for a second about the Cavaliers. Uh, and it kept me up till about two in the morning. So that is my excuse if, uh, if I'm no good. So, you know, you can blame it on, blame it on basketball. But uh, we thank you for the time and the opportunity. And uh, I am going to cover a couple things, just introduce the company and what we feel is the opportunity here, both long term and short term with Lumen. And then I'll, I'll briefly touch on the technology before turning it over to uh, a couple much more capable guys to tell you how it works and, uh, and talk about some case studies. So um, it's an exciting time with Lumen. Uh, Alex Bajanoff, our founder, started the company in August of 2016 with a really clear vision. Um, that the circuit breaker panel, this really critical junction where electricity uh, service meets the homeowner was underserved. And, and that has been the, the genesis of the company. That is what we're all about. And it's super exciting because I think everybody knows this, uh, you know, the slide that I have up talks about the grid of yesterday and the grid of tomorrow. And we sit at this fascinating juxtaposition today. Um, and, you know, we have technology we feel that can help usher in the grid of tomorrow. Um, the grid of yesterday, as we all know, is was built and designed for one-way flow of electricity. We have only $7 trillion invested in that infrastructure and that system. So it served us well, but times are changing, uh, in the words of Bob Dylan. And, you know, tomorrow uh, the, the grid will feature local, uh, both local generation and local storage, um, you know, we, we see the movement afoot for electricity pricing, which get, is getting more complex, more dynamic. Uh, and all of these things, we feel like favor Lumen, they favor grid edge technology like ours that can add value to that, uh, to that infrastructure. So that's what we're all about. And, you know, the, the challenge is the, the future, the decentralized future, is really not possible without technology that provides deep understanding and deep data um, at the edge of the grid and also automated and intelligent control. Um, it, it's just simply not where it will take longer. And you know, that's we feel is the niche that we can bring to the table. Um, Timothy Rogan here at, at National Grid, we feel like summarized our mission pretty well or the opportunity, if you will, for the Lumen platform is the missing piece is, has, is, is load control and intelligent load management 
Um, solar is an awesome resource. Storage adds value to that. And the, the next level up is having the ability to automatically control and shed loads. And that's what, uh, that's what we're bringing to the party with Lumen. Um, so yeah, for us, intelligence, uh, the, the product that, that we're bringing to the market comprises really two aspects. It's, it's data, really in-depth information about electricity consumption, and it's also control. So the ability to control electricity uh, intelligently, remotely, uh, responsively, these are all things you know, that are hallmarks of our vision, hallmarks of, of, of what we're bringing, uh, bringing to the market. So I've got uh, four or five more slides and then I will we'll push it to Mr. Sullivan for a detailed kind of introduction to, to how this works. But um, I think this is pretty clear to all of us, everybody on the call. Um, there, there's a few reasons why storage is growing rapidly. This is one of them is that our solar production is out of phase with our consumption. For the folks in California and Hawaii and other parts of the world, quite familiar with the duck curve. I think you know that's something that we're all getting more familiar with. And the duck curve is really just a, a, a byproduct of what you see here in that graph to the right. Um, and so what that has led to is policies where net metering or the ability to sell your excess electricity for full retail credit um, back to the utility, those days are numbered. Um, and that is beginning to sunset, you know, all, all around the country, you know, starting in California and Hawaii and places like that, and up into New England and other places are starting to feel that pinch as well. So that decentralized grid will feature storage. Uh, it, it's growing rapidly by the end of 2023, uh, there'll be 600,000 homes in the USA that have residential storage systems. Um, and not only is it net metering that's driving storage, there's two other factors that are really playing into it. Um, and, you know, one I touched on a little bit, and that is utilities are really adopting dynamic electricity pricing. So we're, we will enter an era where electricity pricing will be a function of the time of day, uh, your demand charges and things like that. So you need uh, resources to help you, you know, play that market, if you will, and use electricity when it makes sense based on the price. And the other driver for storage and for this graph that you see on the right um, is what seems to be a growing incidence or rise of natural disasters, um, be it hurricanes, uh, you know, tornadoes, floods, things like that. People want to be prepared for a future uh, where they are off grid, where, <clears throat> where they have resiliency. So it's those three factors that are really pushing the storage growth. And so what does that have to do with Lumen? Um, is, is that Lumen solves a few challenges uh, that are prevalent today with residential energy storage systems or home batteries. So we use the abbreviation RESS. Uh, so that's your battery system. I think that's one that we're all familiar with. But there's, there's a few challenges with the storage systems today. First is that whole home energy backup is the goal for customers. So when I invest in a storage system, I you know, would like to be able to back up my whole home. I'd like to have access to all my loads. Um, and you know, based on the time of day or what's going on in the environment. So we help, um, eliminate that we help provide whole home energy backup um, with with the lumen panel john will talk about some case studies brian will talk about how that works um, and that also can enable the elimination which is kind of why we're here today in the title of the webinar it can enable elimination of your sub panel or of your protected loads panel um, and we we enable basically a, a dynamic virtual excuse me, protected loads panel. And in some cases, it can help lower the installation costs. So eliminating the need for that extra hardware and that extra electrical work can help lower installation costs. And then finally is the, the really exciting thing we feel like is that it enables dynamic backup and responsive backup, uh, backup that's responsive to uh, 
the, the charge state of your battery or what is current electricity pricing on the market. Um, and that is what, uh, what the Lumen panel enables. It enables you to trade your loads. Uh, it doesn't uh, fix you with a certain set of loads that you predetermine uh, upon installation, but you, know, you get to uh, play with what loads you want to protect based on you know, whether you're having a party, what your personal preferences are, or what's going on you know, with your life and, and your lifestyle. So it's that flexibility um, and the dynamic nature of the backup combined with the whole home energy in reducing costs that um, is exciting. I've got a one minute video here uh, that talks a little bit about batteries and you know, how Lumen fits in. Home energy batteries or energy storage systems are big and expensive. Powering a whole home with a battery would require a lot of space and money. As a result, most battery backup systems today are limited to which circuits they can power. Homeowners are stuck having to choose only a handful of circuits their batteries can support in an off-grid scenario. These circuits, which cannot be changed, are permanently housed in a separate protected loads panel. Lumen can help eliminate the protected loads panel by introducing a dynamic circuit breaker panel that controls the 12 largest circuits in a home. It simultaneously manages demand based on the discharge capacity of the battery backup system. The Lumen Energy Management Platform takes dumb on-off circuits and makes them intelligent and responsive to your preferences, market conditions, battery charge state, outage duration and more. We help to make energy storage more whole, more dynamic, and we can eliminate a protected loads panel, providing savings on day one. All right, thanks for that, Tom. Final slide for me, this is Kevin again. I'm gonna push it over to Brian to talk more in depth about how the Lumen platform works, but just some of the elements um, about the Lumen platform. So it's a hardware and software system. Um, the hardware you see picture on the, the right-hand side of your slide right now, um, this is where the control, this is the enabling uh, piece of Lumen. Uh, here's where we have the relays in the hardware um, that allow for remote control and in-depth uh, measurement of consumption and what's going on inside your home. And the hardware is UL compliant, designed for manufacturing is complete, and you know, we're shipping product uh, all around the country these days. And then, yeah, what the software enables uh, is intelligent control of the circuits, and that's where Brian will, will take over here and help you understand how that works. But again, for us, control is about uh, the, the automation and can we make your, your Lumen smart panel responsive to market conditions, your personal preferences, you know, the status of the grid. And the, that is, uh, that is the, the, the promise of Lumen and, and what the technology enables. So without further ado, I will turn it over to Brian Sullivan to talk a little bit more about how it all works. Cool. Thanks, Kevin. So, so I want to talk a little bit um, about the underlying technology. And I know that a couple of you on the call have already maybe seen some of this, um, but I'm going to spend a little bit of time just kind of recapping some of the underlying hardware bits, um, just to make sure everybody's on the same page about um, you know, what we're working with. So, so, so Lumen is, is a, is a, um, it's a hardware and a software platform, but the hardware device um, is something that attaches to your circuit breaker panel. Um, and so we can control up to 12 circuits currently with this generation. And it, um, it, before you just have a circuit breaker that goes straight to the load in question. Um, and what you do is you wire in the Lumen panel um, to each of those circuits. Um, and it, 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 it's installed in series such that we can both measure and control that line. Um, and then in, in actually in the most recent generation of the hardware, we actually also um, added whole home energy monitoring as well. Um, and we're working on rolling out connectivity to other smart devices such that we can control more than just even the circuits that we have access to via the hardwired installation in the circuit breaker panel. So, so this is a continuous feedback loop um, uh, in near real time about measurement and control um, inside a home's uh, uh, wiring. So from an installation standpoint, it already comes kind of self-contained, pre-wired, um, such that you have 
um, all of the pairs of wires that just come out of the, the, the smart circuit breaker panel and wire in um, to the existing service panel. Um, and a, a trained electrician can do this in under two hours. So it's pretty straightforward. Um, and what it gets you um, is access to all of this really rich data. Um, the, the measurements we make are um, you know, um, made every uh, uh, 10,000 times a second is the resolution of measurements we make on each circuit. Um, but we also, we aggregate that data up um, to second level granularity. Uh, we make it available both locally as well as um, send this data to the cloud. Um, and then all of that data as well as uh, rich metrics and dashboards is available on, on the, uh, the portal, um, on the, uh, the, um, the Lumen uh, website. And so a homeowner can actually see all of their usage. Um, they can look at um, trends. They can look at really small time scales or large time scales, and it gets them a sense of what all of the circuit level data, which is 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 pretty um, um, exciting to look at, um, is available inside their home. And what we can do is start to add in external data feeds um, like weather forecast data or utility rate data, um, and really get a sense of what's the effect of things outside the home. Um, on um, the energy usage within the home. Um, and then we can do other things around, say, even the energy mix of what uh, the energy sources are um, for the, the grid in, the, in their area to get a sense of even what someone's uh, carbon footprint could be. So, so this is really a rich way for people to see their own electrical usage data, but things get um, even more powerful and where Lumen has a, a distinct advantage um, uh, across similar products is the level of control that you can have within the home. So because we're wired into each circuit, um, we can control either automatically or directly via the user um, whether that circuit is enabled or not. Um, and this is this operates um, directly uh, from the portal, much like, um, like a Nest or a, another smart home device where someone even from somewhere outside the home could access their home and, and be able to control these things directly. But then we also have abilities for them to set up schedules, to turn circuits on and off at certain times of day. Maybe they're looking to address vampire loads or um, for extra safety precautions. Um, we have modes which are more autonomous controls that you can switch into. So like an off-grid mode that we'll talk about in a minute. Um, it allows you to set a certain limit of how much power your house is consuming at any minute or at any, at any, at any second. Um, as well as uh, specifying which circuits do you want to have enabled or not. And then lastly, there's all sorts of other things that we can do from an, um, an automation standpoint of looking at uh, energy trends, uh, usage, make recommendations to the user, um, and have um, both either actions that the Lumen panel is taking directly um, or maybe um, feeding through a kind of confirmation loop of saying, hey, we notice you know, this, uh, this um, you, you would use these types of circuits during this time of day. Um, you know, should we maybe move this activity to another time of day? So there's a there's a, a kind of a, a spectrum of control that we can have both automated via the system, but also interacting with the homeowner as well. So with uh, with specifically about off grid mode and the idea of whole home backup, um, since we have control over the highest load circuits within the home, um, we can now take all of this rich data that we're getting and all of this control that we have at, at the, the energy management system's fingertips and start to do things around keeping this dynamic uh, protected loads panel uh, behavior within the existing service panel of the house. So um, once we have off-grid detection, then we can know to flip into the mode automatically um, based off of our knowledge of what the appliance demands are for that particular home um, and our prediction about what the usage tends to be for this house um, we can feed that in and marry it with user preferences about uh, which circuits do they want to keep enabled, uh, dynamic or disabled. So let's say that they want to keep their refrigerator and their lights on. So they say, hold that enabled when I go off grid. Uh, maybe I know that I don't really want to put my um, AC system or my HVAC system um, on my battery when I'm in a storm. That seems like a reasonable thing just to take it off the table, put it into disabled. Everything else I want Lumen to manage. And if I have the capacity, to have those circuits on, let's enable them, and I will tell you via my household behavior which circuits I actually am interested in. So the, the Lumen system can take in all of these signals and all of this knowledge and then be able to do things around if we know um, like a weather event is, is happening or if we know something is going to um, put us in a risky off-grid situation, we can 
lower the demand on the house to make the battery ready for prime time. Uh, we can, once we're in an off-grid mode, um, create longer run time by reducing the load to a lower um, uh, capacity. Um, or, and this is the, the biggest offering, I think, um, for the, with respect to this call, the idea of dynamic circuit access. So making sure that you can have access to a variable subset of your circuits based off of the conditions of whatever's going on within the home and have uh, the homeowner have more control over what, where they want to apply their power of their battery. So, um, you know, again, I just threw, I threw a lot out there. Um, uh, just want to reiterate, if you guys do have questions, um, feel free to put them in the chat and we'll be uh, handling the Q&A at the end of the session. Um, for now, I'm going to hand it over to John Prophet, who's going to talk more about the use cases. Thank you, Brian. Appreciate it. Uh, this is John Prophet here, Director of Applications Engineering. Uh, I am the guy who you will likely be working with uh, if and when you decide to order your first Lumen smart panels and uh, have questions about installation and working with your customers to set these things up uh, for real world preferences and, and customization. So uh, very excited to be on this webinar today and, and talking with you all. Um, I will uh, I will start this uh, by saying you, you've heard a little bit about why our energy management platform exists. Um, you've also heard from Brian about how it works and the data, the control, the smart circuits, and and what those can really do to increase the functionality for our residential energy storage systems. Um, what I will focus on is is some real world scenarios about what this actually looks like for you and your customers. Um, starting with the most traditional storage system uh, as seen today. So uh, there are already a lot of storage systems on the market um, and the field is, is certainly growing rapidly. These systems range in size, cost, uh, and technical features. Not getting too in the weeds. Um, we've talked to solar and storage integrators as well as OEMs across the country and you know, the general consensus here is that these grid tied battery backup and or daily cycling batteries can range from about five to seven kW of continuous power output for uh, generally single, single storage or entry level storage systems and have a 25 to 30 amp limitation, um, as well as capacities of about 12 to 13 kilowatt hours. These could be systems like your storage with an LG Kim, it could be Tesla Powerwall, it could be Sonnen, it could be uh, Outback with uh, AGM batteries. It's, it's all across the board, really. Um, but what we're seeing here is an average, pro, uh, average price of these systems, of course, depending on the equipment, the installer, the market, tend to tend to uh, fall in the ten to $14,000 uh, range. And, and what you get with this is, uh, you get, you get a backup system that's designed for essential loads. Um, you know, just a handful of fixed circuits. These are uh, low to medium power circuits. These can be things like uh, branch circuits for key rooms in a house, lighting circuits, usually a refrigerator and maybe a stove top or something like that, uh, but nothing more. And these are fixed circuits. So these are generally housed in a protected loads panel that's isolated from the rest of the house as well as the grid. And it takes a trained electrician to install this. So homeowner has no capability of changing these once they're installed without paying for somebody to come back uh, and, and redo it based on their current preferences. So um, with that in mind, what we are doing is we're taking this same average storage system and uh, eliminating the need for that protected loads panel altogether. So once you've added your Lumen smart panel, while we aren't changing the battery, we're not changing its capacity or its power output. What we're doing is we're opening up access to a whole new set of loads. These are loads that otherwise would not have made it into your protected loads panel, in addition to those that you had already set aside for the protected loads panel. Um, now, that doesn't mean that you're going to be using all of these at the same time. So to what Brian was mentioning is, is because we're effectively managing the demand on your uh, loads panel, we can see exactly how much energy you're using and we can predict how much energy you're going to use uh, based on, on you know, the, the data and the analytics that have built in and what we've learned about your home and the appliances and the circuits. And so that we can begin to trade loads back and forth based on your current preferences and your current needs for electricity because we know that not every power outage is going to, to be the same. So your needs are going to change as well. So while you, know, while you will have some of those same lights that you otherwise would have used, now perhaps we've, we've opened up access to a water heater. Perhaps we opened up access to uh, doing laundry 
or various other things in your house that you otherwise would have never had access to in a more traditional setup. Um, so again, these can be the exact same systems, those Tesla power walls or the Sonnen Ecos or the LG Kims, but what we're trying to do here and what our installers are seeing the most benefit from is just being able to open up more access. Um, and the key here is that because we are on the, the AC and the demand side and hooking directly into a service panel, we are pretty much battery agnostic and can provide similar value regardless of the storage technology. Now, the Lumen Vision is one of dynamic and configurable backup, and its value is shared by our partners and customers alike. But it's important to note that the solution is, is, is uh, always has its limitations. So we're not going to change the laws of physics, and we're not going to rewrite the NEC code book. Uh, so there are always the same requirements and, and technical requirements and codes that would apply to uh, our storage systems with or without the Lumen Smart Panel. And I've noted a few of the key ones here that, uh, that really we need to check off in order to make the whole home backup approach possible. First, uh, an automatic transfer switch or ATS is always going to be needed. Um, we're going to need this simply to isolate from the grid during that backup situation. And we've heard from a lot of our partners in California especially that it's really difficult to do this uh, or, or it's really difficult to install an ATS or, or back up a whole house on that main distribution panel as it is when you have an all-in-one meter and load center. Um, so for these cases, our installation partners aren't foregoing the Lumen Smart Panel. Instead, what they're doing is they're using it for similar functionality, but instead they are installing a sub panel or a backed up loads panel and installing it with more loads than they otherwise would have probably put in there without the Lumen Smart Panel. So it becomes a more robust and still a more dynamic protected loads panel. So you get a lot of that same functionality, uh, but you're not physically tying right into that existing all-in-one meter and load center. Um, second thing I'll note is that the single largest load in the main distribution panel cannot exceed 60 amps. That's just the, uh, that's the largest circuit amperage that our Lumen can control and enable and disable. Um, and the last one is that with or without the Lumen Smart Panel, the installation obviously must still comply with the NEC and that pesky 120% rule, which means that service panels must have the opacity to meet your system's interconnection requirements. Um, but other than that, it's usually very possible, uh, assuming, assuming that we can meet these, uh, to just tie right into that main distribution panel and allow Lumen to work its magic and control that demand for you so that you're not worried about the homeowners turning on too much at once or installing a battery system that's potentially undersized for that main distribution panel. That's really where we're adding a ton of value today. Um, and then in summary, uh, the last slide before I'll hand it back over to Kevin shows your, your apples to apples, uh, comparison of an average PV system with storage compared to your average PV system with storage and a Lumen Smart Panel. So the, the data here on pricing all comes from the, the most recent Energy Sage report, the 2019 national average of about $3.05 a watt for solar and your average PV system size of 6kW. And coupled with one Tesla Powerwall, and that pricing was reflected from the Tesla website. So that traditional Tesla Powerwall on a 6KW PV system will come in right around $29,000. Of course, there'll be some variability based on market, uh, but on average, that's about what we would expect. And with that, you'll get about you know 7KW of a peak output with your backup, 5KW continuous, and 13 and a half kilowatt hours of capacity. And again, you'll, you'll probably get about six, maybe 10 average size uh, for your backed up panel. Um, of course, it depends on the size of the loads. It depends on the size of the backed up loads panel as well. Uh, but those will be fixed circuits. So none of these circuits can be controlled remotely. And the only way to, uh, to disable them would be to physically do so at the service panel. So you would be asking your customers to, to run out to the service panel and physically uh, turn one of their circuit breaker switches uh, to the off position if you're ever worried about them potentially running something that would too quickly deplete the battery or even worse trip the battery. So um, the, the second scenario here is the addition of the Lumen Smart Panel. So uh, while we will add some additional hardware and installation costs for our product, at the same time we are reducing the hardware and installation costs associated with installing a protected loads panel. Um, so, you know, sometimes this nets a, 
uh, an increase in the installation cost, while other times it can actually save money. It really just depends on the cost of installing a protected loads panel and your particular customer's home. So in Puerto Rico, for example, where there are you know, a lot of concrete bunkers, uh, we see that by not having to install a protected loads panel, in most cases, we're actually saving the installers and the customers a fair amount of money um, on the ends of, of upwards of a thousand or even two thousand dollars at a time. In other places, it's more break even, and in some kinds, uh, in some cases, when a protected loads panel is very easy to install and uh, there aren't a lot of technical constraints involved, then we may add just a little bit of cost to the installation. But at the same time, we believe we're going to bring a lot of additional value that your homeowners will appreciate. Uh, so some of that value, of course, goes back to everything that Kevin and Brian have been talking about with uh, increasing the number of backed up circuits, increasing your control. And then at the same time, what you know, what Brian and I especially really geek out geek out about is this level of data. So a lot of homeowners will enjoy looking at this data and seeing what in my house is actually using the most energy. Where am I spending my money to keep my house running? And what can I do about that? So uh, for those of us who really enjoy that level of data, it is there and it's at your fingertips. Um, for others, we know it might not be for you, in which case we'll just allow Brian's, uh, his smart algorithms to do the job for you and make sure that your battery system is, is well protected on the demand side. Um, so with that, I'm gonna hand it back over to Kevin uh, and we look forward to uh, answering any questions that you may have along the way. Thanks, Sean. And yes, they really do geek out on the data. So, but I've got uh, one slide before, a final slide here before Q&A. And again, we appreciate everybody hanging in there with us. Um, and it's about going to market with Lumen. So we employ a dealer direct model. Um, so our installation partners purchase uh, the hardware directly from us here. Uh, Val and her team have been working hard on both the demo and partner portal. So take a look at the partner portal if you get a moment. We'd also love to have you take a look at the demo portal also to get a good feel for the software and how it works, um, what these guys geek out about so much, the depth of the data, um, and some of the things that, that our Lumen Insights can, can turn up. The partner portal is where we're pouring resources in for our partners. That'll be the repository uh, where partners will uh, be able to go and log in and you know, get all their information about installation, things like that. And we also employ a tiered partnership program. So the tiered partnership program, we'd love to talk to you about. Uh, I won't go into details here, um, but uh, yeah, please look me up afterward. My contact information will appear here now and uh, we'll turn it over to Q&A from here. You guys can decide who should best answer, but I think this is for Brian. Um, in your presentation, you mentioned you're sending my data to the cloud or you're sending customer data to the cloud. How does the Lumen Smart Panel work off grid? Yeah, sure. Um, so, so there are two kind of uh, um, you know computational components to the the, the um, Lumen Smart um, Panel or the energy management system. So. Um, the you know the cloud is where we um, we are you know catching data for um, really rich longer term analytics and for uh, giving uh, homeowners access to remote control of their circuits. Um, but the the core of the behavior um, and the and the automated actions of the panel um, live on the panel itself. And so there's a there's a you know a small computer right on there. Um, and it is able to work um, autonomously um, without connectivity to the network. Because you know, even though some people might have internet connectivity in an, in a, in an electricity outage, um, that's definitely not something that we want to count on. Um, and so the panel can do all these things locally, um, and it'll just synchronize back and forth with our cloud systems. But it's a good question. Okay, awesome, thanks. Um, maybe related, um, Brian, what does the antenna do? That well, you can see on the yeah. The um, so the antenna is is our Wi-Fi um, connection. Um, so you know uh, yeah, we have a little Wi-Fi um, network transmitter there, um, and uh, if it was inside the panel, we wouldn't have very good cell cell uh, uh, Wi-Fi connectivity um, to your home's Wi-Fi. So the the antenna has to be on the outside of the box. Okay, right on. Um, the next question is uh, the 12 circuit limit, is that 12 240 volt circuits or 12 120 volt circuits? And I can, I see 
John lighting sure. up, excited yeah, to answer no, this. That, that's a good question. So it could be a combination of the two. So the Lumen Smart Panel that we are currently shipping to our partners today is, uh, is one that comes with 12 circuits. That could be 12 single pole circuits. It could be six dual pole circuits, or it could be any combination of the two. Um, so it's really up to our installers and their homeowners to determine the, the best circuits and the best loads for the fit of the, uh, of the system and the preferences. Okay, perfect. Thanks. Um, another question, I'll leave this to, to Kevin, about how do you become a partner? Yeah, I, I think it's best one-to-one. Uh, -one. So again, my email and my mobile phone are, are here. We would love to hear from you uh, after the webinar to talk about the, the partnership programs we have in place and you know, enabling you and your team to, to take advantage of the technology. So um, I think that's best. Okay, sounds good. Email Kevin. Um, and then this is kind of related. Is this equipment eligible for rebates and tax credits? I know John's done a lot of research, especially in California, on that topic. Um, perhaps when it's bundled with traditional solar plus storage. Yeah, with with anything on the tax code, we we uh, we can't make an official ruling here today. But um, you know what we've seen traditionally is that as you start to bundle things with solar. Uh, it's generally acceptable, um, especially as an energy management or an energy monitoring device that's part of the system itself. Uh, so as long as it's not just a standalone Lumen smart panel with no solar and no solar in storage, then yeah, we, we, we recommend that you go ahead and have your customers file it as part of their, uh, their system and, and get that tax credit. Okay, thank you. Um, okay, we have one more question in the queue. I encourage, if anyone has time, we've got more time on the clock here. If anyone has time and wants to stick around, please lob, lob questions you may have. Um, one more, does your system work with all battery manufacturers? Yep, and I might, uh, I might have Brian jump in. This is Kevin, but the, the short answer to that is yes. Um, so we're talking to and working with all of the major storage manufacturers. Our vision, you know, from the get-go has been to remain neutral, to provide technology that can augment and enhance any storage system. There are some storage partners where conversations are a little bit further along, where there's some software-to-software -software communication. But today, as is with the off-grid mode, really we can augment and complement any storage installation. Yeah, yeah. So I, uh, this is Brian, just to chime in. Um, that's that's exactly right. I'd say. Um, yeah, we want to make sure that the Lumen um, system can operate um, independently in, in, in a battery neutral capacity. But to the degree that we um, add more capabilities with direct API connectivity to any one particular battery um, platform, that just gives us richer functionality um, for the panel to be able to do more things uh, autonomously. Um, and, um, and I think one of the cool things about it is that, you know, in, in this modern age of internet, you know, updatable software um, we're constantly pushing improvements to the the lumen smart panel all the time and so you know we can as we add new features and new fun new connectivity um, we can just um, you know upgrade the panels in the field all right thanks brian um, another question just came in kevin i'll let you take it away when was lumen founded what's the story behind the company <laughs> Sure, yeah, I'm uh, happy to talk about that. Alex Bajanoff is our true founder. I met Alex in 2016. He incorporated it in August of 2016. And you know, his aha moment was he had started another energy efficiency company uh, as he was getting his MBA here at the University of Virginia and just had the realization of just how kind of dumb the circuit breaker panel was and how it had missed much innovation that it was such a rich junction where power provider met, met the homeowner and that if we could bring the internet of things to that junction um, we would help unlock lots of goodness for installers for utilities for homeowners and that was that was the inception of, of lumen it was alex's aha moment and uh he took it to market and incorporated in August of 2016. We hear this often, so thanks for raising the question. Can two Lumen devices be combined to control more circuits, i.e. two devices for 24 circuits? The answer is? Short, short answer is yes. And uh, JP, you want to take the, 
longer yeah, answer? Yeah, sure. Solid? So uh, assuming there's the physical space um, near the service panel as well as within the service panel to do our wiring, you could install as many women smart panels as, as you see fit for your customer. And then on the back end, uh, the software team here will just merge those accounts so that they all show up on one single portal. So uh, in other words, you could stack as many of these as you want. Um, and your homeowner will still be able to view all of it on one single dashboard. Let's see, while Modbus is not a plug and play protocol, how does Lumen communicate with most of the storage systems? Sure, uh, so I'll, I'll take that. So right now um, we are um, storage system agnostic, meaning we can work um, with any battery system. Um, we're working on more um, direct connectivity um, to, to a, a, a number of platforms um, and that'll just, It'll just give richer um, behavior um, uh, when you, if you happen to have that particular platform installed. Um, right now, the ones we're looking at um, are actually working just over a regular Wi-Fi or or um, direct Ethernet connection. So they're just using regular, you know, um, TCP/IP. Um, but um, you know, we're looking at what future hardware generations might. We, we might prefer as other hardware protocols, but right now everything we do is over TCP IP. All right, thank you, Brian. Um, next question, does monitoring extend beyond the 12 circuits? Um, yeah, so we, um, uh, so we definitely have um, whole home monitoring. Um, so we can see the, the real time um, you know, power consumption across the whole home, um, as well as those, those, those 12 lines that we're measuring. Um, and uh, um, but we, have, we only have control over the lines that we have direct inline co connectivity with, um, unless we start um, talking to your smart devices as well. And I'll also add that we have, there's two sets of CTs that come with our current product. And that one set of CTs is what Brian was talking about for the whole home. So you'll have your 12 circuits plus everything else being measured by a set of CTs connected to your main supply line coming into the house. And then that second set of CTs is there to measure generation. So this could be connected to uh, your generation input into the service panel, whether that be solar and batteries combined, or it could be just solar if there are no batteries on your system. But those are those are really the two things that we would want to monitor but never control. So we don't see a lot of applications in, in turning your PV system off on a nice sunny day, uh, or you know shutting off electricity to your whole house. But there are a lot of applications in being able to turn off circuits. So we keep the controls there and then just monitor the rest. All right. Um, we have a few more questions here. If everyone can hang in a couple more minutes and we'll get you on your on your way to your afternoon. Um, maybe another one for you, John. Is there a max circuit size? Sure. Oh, come on. That one I can handle. <laughs> okay. Let's yeah. Go. Kevin. Put me in, Coach. Go for it. <laughs> yes, there is. And it's 60 amp. Nailed it. Well ah, thank you. Well done. Um, okay, and certainly you guys, if there's any other anything you 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 know wanted to include that we didn't, I'm saving one question for last because it's teeing up my plug for our next webinar beautifully. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, mm -hmm. I think we're we're winding down. So the last question is, can the device be programmed to only deploy during specific times? For example, TOU rate schedules. So um, we may hold or at least. We'll answer today, but tease for tomorrow's webinar. We're doing a webinar, um, same time, same place, um, on dynamic utility pricing and the impact that Lumen can have for your customers. So thanks for teeing that question up, and I'll let one of you guys handle it. Yeah, I guess you know this, this is Brian. Just a, you know, kind of a, a quick um, you know a, a sentence or two on that. I you know um, so you know we would think about time of use um, optimization as another type of mode. So right now we've been focusing on off-grid mode. So what happens when Lumen detects that you're off the grid and we have to live within some constraints around how much power you can be using at any one moment um, or over a period of time. Um, uh, um, a, you know, a, a variant of that, of those types of constraints, is around what you're doing on a time of use rate schedule. And so that would just be a different type of mode. Great. Well, thank you guys, Brian, John, Kevin. Appreciate it. All of you for taking the time this afternoon. We really appreciate your interest and your support. Um, Kevin's contact information is on the screen, so hopefully you've had a minute to jot that down if you have any further questions or are interested in our partner program. And we look forward to hearing more from you in the future. Thanks very much. Thanks, folks. Thank you.